love all parts of Chicago, though, don't you? Yeah, I lived on the north side a little bit when all I was right. in Second City. Mm -hmm. What were some of the things in Chicago that you love to do? I like to go out and hear music. Live music is a passion of mine, and um, you know, it's usually you know not so much big old concerts, but you know, like bars like this, you know, where it might set up a. Uh, you know, a local band. Yeah. Um, Chicago has a great music scene. Yeah, sure. yeah. And that's one thing I did. And, and um, you know, we, uh, of course, we got out quite late. So, uh, of our, you know, we were a cabaret. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't get out till midnight or one. And, and we'd go, you know, across the street to the Ale House or uh, Belushi and Ackroyd had the blues bar uh, just directly across the street. Awesome. Behind the Earl of Old Town. And uh, so music or beers. And you were talking about... Um hanging out in bars and stuff like that and I'm sure you still get the norm thing all the time I mean yeah. that's that's I look mean, at me I'm at the I corner know. of the bar it's I, like I gravitate here it's it's like a force <laughs> of nature bigger than gravity it's like woof. it's like you and I have that in common definitely we're both from Chicago and our workplace over time has incorporated a bar of some sort yeah and how many hours do you think your elbow has clocked on a bar? I don't know, <laughs> but more to come. <laughs> do you ever yeah. like just stand there and all of a sudden go like this and don't realize that you can actually put your... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good, yeah. But I think I have to keep my chops up for that inevitable Cheers reunion. You oh, know? dude, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, because otherwise I would have dropped all this weight. You know, I put on like 100 pounds for the role of Norm. Did you? you know? Well, of course. You know, I'm a you're, chameleon, you know. You're a character I'm a actor. chameleon actor. You're truly and, uh, dedicated to your work. Yeah, yeah. And so like, uh, you know, I'm... I've, I've taken it off from time to time, but uh, I, is I there a Cheers reunion on. coming? No. <laughs> if there was, just to let you know, he still got it. I got my chops, baby. <laughs> this is not water. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Having been from Chicago and seen all these great things that we're talking about, what do you think about the possibility of actually having the Olympics here in Chicago? Well. I think people are going to be overwhelmed by the energy here. The, the energy in Chicago is palpable. The whole town is just throbbing with energy. Do you feel like that's happening more and more, or is it just me? Or no, I, definitely more and more. It's yeah. since, since, you know, I've been away a bit, uh, every time I come back I notice it more and more. What do you think we have to gain as Chicagoans by having all these different cultures from around the world join us for this really wonderful worldly celebration? It's going to be amazing, you know, uh, especially so concentrated down there by the lake front. Mm -hmm. It's going to be uh, quite an exchange of uh, cultures and uh, ideals and values. And, uh, you know, uh, of course, everyone loves the sports here, so yeah. it's going to be amazing. So when the Olympics come, what game will you be dying to see? You know, hoops are the obvious, but there's something about a 100-meter dash that I think uh, I would really, I mean, it's over in a heartbeat, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, those guys, they, they don't even breathe, do they? Nine, nine and a half seconds, 10 seconds. They, they take a deep breath and then <laughs> just go. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's entirely anaerobic. But I mean, that, that's uh, to me just, that's everything. The, all, all the skills of an athlete, just bang. Just like rabbits, off they go. There's got to be some sort of Second City reunion. How awesome would that be? If there were like five or six people on stage, who would it be and what would this story be that they'd be telling the world about Chicago? Well, certainly I would not be on stage if it was the ultimate Second City reunion because I am, I suck. <laughs> I, I suck out loud. <laughs> No, um, but if, if it was you plus five, who would it be? All right, it's just I'm not going to include myself because it's not going to happen. It's, right. I, I just am not in their league. Um, I think uh, Del Close, Severn Darden, Paul Sills directing, uh, Fred Kaz on the piano, um, John Belushi, of course. You'd have to get some of these uh, newer guys like uh, Colbert, Steve Carell. Bonnie Hunt. Have I already done too many? No. Um. That's fascinating. No, I'm seeing it yeah. all come together. Joe Flaherty. Uh, and what would our Chicago story Billy be? Billy Murray. Oh yeah, Billy Murray. Yeah. What a trip. What would I our see, I'm not. I'm not. I couldn't hang with those guys. Yeah, you couldn't. Hang. No. What What would Chicago's story be on stage? What would we tell the world? If If it was Second City, it wouldn't be a typical Chicago story. To be whatever anyone expected, it would be the anti-story to 
what was expected. Uh, yeah. And of course, whatever they did would be hilarious. Oh, it would be it would be hilarious. <laughs> anyway, thanks, man. You rock. Thank you. I appreciate it. So much. Thank you.